Hello. No, it's not Adele or Lionel Richie. It's your favorite. Mrs. Yabut. And Mrs. Tyatt now. We're, we're the, the Wonder, Wonder Twins. Twins. We always wonder if you're absorbing what we're teaching. So we're here to try to teach it another way. Today's lesson will be on 50A1. We can write and figure out number sentences that have parentheses, brackets, and or braces. How would you solve this problem? 7 times open parentheses 6 plus 4 close parentheses. Think time. Now that you have your answer, let's see if the same if it's the same answer that we came up with. When solving this problem, you have to remember that everything has an order. In math, you must follow the order of operations. The order of operations is like a secret code. The code word is PEMDAS. P stands for parentheses. P stands for exponent. M is for multiplication. B is for division. A is for addition. S is for subtraction. Maybe you've heard this sentence before. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The first letter of each word stands for each order of operation. Now let's go back to our problem. 7 times, open parentheses, 6 plus 4, close parentheses. The first thing we're going to look for are parentheses. That's this symbol right here. Since we do have parentheses, that's the first part we'll be working on in this problem. The problem in this parentheses is 6 plus 4. What is 6 plus 4? Think time. If you said 10, woohoo! You got it correct. So now we are left with 7 times 10. Next, we need to look for exponents. In case you forgot, exponents look like this. Since there are no exponents in our problem, we then move on to multiplication. What is 7 times 10? Think time. If you said 70, hallelujah, you're right. So our final answer to the problem, 7 times open parentheses, 6 plus 4 close parentheses, is 70. Here is the problem worked out for you. Get it? Got it? Good! Let's try out another problem. 3 times, open parentheses, 9 minus 4, close parentheses, minus 5. Again, we need to go through the order of operations. First, we look for parentheses. The problem in parentheses is 9 minus 4. What is 9 minus 4? Think time. If you said 5, you're awesome. So now we have 3 times 5 minus 5. Now we look for exponents. Since there are no exponents in our problem, we then move on to multiplication. When we read the problem from left to right, we now have 3 times 5. What is 3 times 5? Think time! If you said 15, you're totally getting this. So now we have 15 minus 5. For a free time during your recess time, who knows what the next step is? 
If you said division, you're going to recess. Sorry, not Disneyland. The next step is addition. However, since we do not need to add, we then move on to subtraction. What is 15 minus 5? Think time. If your answer is 10, oh yeah. So our final answer to the problem, 3 times open parentheses 9 minus 4, close parentheses, minus 5 is 10. Yeah. For another catchy way to remember the order of operations, check out this video from Flow Cabulary. Order of operations. Now make sure you follow step by step. You know? Follow me. Yeah. I've been first and I've been last. Either way, I keep the order with pin pads. First is parentheses, then it's exponents. Multiply, divide, add, subtract. Yeah, you know this. I've been first and I've been last. Either way, I keep the order with pin pads. First is parentheses, then it's exponents. Multiply, divide, add, subtract. Yeah, you know when I evaluate expressions, I have some patience. I just follow the order of operations. I simplify to see what they equal. Pim comes first, and Daz is the sequel. Pim Daz. Yeah, that's an acronym. We'll break it down just to see what is happening. P is parentheses. Search for them first. Whatever is inside them, you need to do the work. E is exponents. So raise them, raise them up. Or get down with the roots like West Love does. Uh, MD, multiplication and division. I do them left to right. Yes, that's my decision. Uh, AS. Addition and subtraction You learn them first, do it last That is the fashion Some say please excuse my dear from Sally Some say pin das Either way the order is important Just like swim class I've been first and I've been last Either way I keep the order with pin das First is parentheses Then it's exponents Multiply, divide, add, subtract Yeah you know this I've been first and I've been last Either way I keep the order with pen gas First is parentheses, then it's exponents Multiply, divide, add, subtract Yeah, you know this Okay, okay, let's say that we've got this Let's use pen dash, see what we accomplish First we do what we see in the parentheses 17 minus 15, that is 2 indeed 3 plus 1, that is 4, yes I'm brilliant Now, exponents is what we'll be dealing with 4 to the second means 4 times 4 That equals 16, and yes, I am sure Next we multiply and we divide 16 times 2 is 32 Oh my 32 divided by 4 is 8 And then we add or subtract Okay uh, 8 minus 5 is 3 Which is easier than writing this to me Cut through your operations Just like a surgeon Flow cat Yeah, we keep it working I've been first and I've been last Either way I keep the order with pen dash First is parentheses, then it's exponents Multiply, divide, add, subtract, yeah you know this I've been first and I've been last Either way I keep the order with pen dash First is parentheses, then it's exponents Multiply, divide, add, subtract, yeah you know this In this lesson, we learned how to write and figure out number sentences that have parentheses, brackets, and or braces.
We hope you enjoyed our video on 50A1. For more informational videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mr. Fanihi. We kindly accept donations such as food to give us strength to make more flip classroom videos. Thank, Thank you. you. Go feed me.